For round two, your next task is to make the prince a meal. Oh, now this is more my style. Mmm, how did you cook this chicken? By hand. You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. I was born with them. Sweet. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now. You won this round. But Prince Nicholas, what about my dish? Sorry, Freya, but your salmon was kind of cold. Aw, sucks to be you on this round, doesn't it? The prince has decided. Princess Hazel and Princess Freya, you're safe. Everyone else, please return back to your kingdom. What? You gotta be kidding me. It looks like it's just you and me. <laughs> the prince is mine. He likes me more. Hello, ladies. For this final round, I would like for you to duel each other. You want us to fight each other? Uh-huh. I want to pick whoever's the strongest to be my bride. Well, I guess you'll be choosing me then. In your dreams. This is gonna be fun. Sissy, I'm scared. Hey, it's okay. I know this vacation home is a little creepy, but mom and dad will be back home from their party soon. And besides, my danger meter, it's only at 2%, so we're good. <laughs> Sissy, I'm gonna do a trick. Are you watching? Uh-huh. Yeah, good job. I'm almost at the top. Millie, get down from there right now. <laughs> Millie, I'm serious. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Crap, my phone is dead. My arm is hurting. You know what? I saw a hospital down the street. I'll just take you to it. We think her arm might be broken, so we're gonna take her for some x-rays. No, I don't want to. It's okay. I'll be right here waiting for you when you get out. It'll be very quick, sweetheart. Come on. Okay. Hey, I've been waiting like 45 minutes for my sister to be done with x-rays. What's taking so long? We're not doing x-rays today. Our machine's under maintenance. Wait, what? Then where do they take my sister? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Veronica, open the door. No, not until you tell me what really happened to my parents. How did they even get this crown? I told you, your parents were spies and they acquired many riches on their missions. That crown was a gift from a princess they saved. Your parents were rich and I needed money, but they would never give it to me. So I decided to take something that they wanted and to never give it to them. Me. And you want to know what I did to your parents? Freeze! FBI! Whoa, hey, what's going on? Are you injured? No, but I don't understand. How did you guys know to come? Well, we've been investigating your uncle for quite some time now. Recently, we gathered enough evidence to make the arrest. I told you I'm okay. I don't need an ambulance. Honey, the ambulance isn't for you. What? While we were searching your house, we found a shed in your backyard. Did you know about the shed? Uncle Scott said it was infested with bugs. Actually, we believe we found your parents. They're in critical condition, but they're alive, honey. I don't even know what your parents did for a living. Yes, I do. My mom and dad were both lawyers. <laughs> lawyers. They were spies. Spies? My parents couldn't be spies. They're not cool enough. Oh, kid. You're so innocent. Your parents were actually smarter than I thought. I'll get that doll. But right now, I'm going to get that treasure that's in this safe. Access denied. Looks like only you can get it. There's a crown in there. Now get it. Access granted. Yes, that crown is worth millions. Okay, hand it over. Wait, I want to know what really happened to my parents. Nah, kid, I don't think you really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Aw, oh, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Oh, the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Hi, Miss Reeves. Is my daughter Sarah in trouble? No, Miss Grace, and I just wanted to speak with you about what Sarah wrote in class today. Go ahead and read that out loud. I love my mommy because she beats up bad guys. I just don't know why she would write that. Um, what is your job, Miss Grayson? Uh, come here. Get her. 
Oh. I'm an accountant. Oh, well, how funny of her to write that. <laughs> she must have quite the imagination. Excuse me, sorry. Girl, we thought you forgot about your daughter. <laughs> Welcome, the girls. You barely made it. Where were you? I just got a little tied up at work. <laughs> you need to get out of bed now. I'm working on it. Laser bobby pen. You guys really do think of everything. Your daughter's dance recital starts in 15 minutes. Shit. I love you too. Bye. Shit, the girls are gonna be home in 10 minutes. They can't see me dressed like this. Hi guys, we're home. Hi girls, do you want a cookie? Yeah. Mm. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy. I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're going to get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk! Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared.
<laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bits. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. Happy birthday! You can take your band-aid off! I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine, but you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise, I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense, you must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam, please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding! Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soul meets the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on... You're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? We have postponed the wedding long enough. He's trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. 
You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Why do we have to switch back? Oh, please, just be anything but my hand. Seriously? Listen, I just got a new job, and I cannot have you messing it up for me, okay? Hi, welcome to Happy Burger. How may I take your order? Get me a cheeseburger. Okay, and would you like a side of fries with that? No, no thank you. Hey, I said no fries. I am so sorry, ma'am. Let me fix that for you right now. Jerk. Excuse me, are you talking to me? No, ma'am, not you. Here is your food, ma'am, and I am very sorry for the misunderstanding. You should be fired. <gasps> How dare you! No, ma'am, I am so sorry. That was not me. I am going to go speak to the manager, you weirdo. No, ma'am, please wait. Hand over your equipment. Please, don't fire me. Okay, maybe I won't if you, uh, do me a little favor. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm going to go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me. 
Cringe. Whoops. Excuse me, brah. You're excused, and I'm not your bra. Oh. Damn. Hey, babe. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. So fine, you blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Madeline and Steve are flirting. I ship it. I'm getting a perfect score on my SAT. Yeah, let's make a deal. Girl, be for real. Rude. I just have to study every single day leading up until the SATs. I got this. Bro's really out here trying to pep talk herself. <laughs> These big paper textbooks are not it. Shh, this is silent reading. Not me wanting to drop this class. Hey, is it weird that I think this teacher's kind of hot? Only in Ohio. Honey, I got the job I wanted. The Waffle House has found its new host. What? Please be a cool power. I really hope I get, like, super strength or something. You can see through everyone's what? What power did you get, honey? <gasps> My eyes. What's the matter, sweetheart? I think it's best if you don't know. Um, okay. Mr. Smith. Hey. Mr. Smith. I'm excited to see you and your family for dinner tonight. That was today? Yeah, your dad invited me over to watch the game, remember? You're not canceling on me, are you? No, sir. Okay, see you then. Take those glasses off. You're going to embarrass us. Oh, trust me. It is too late for that. All right, come on. Yeah. Man, do I love football. <laughs> I'm going to go help my wife with the food. Be right back. Hey, I think I know what your power is. You do? Yeah, it's okay. I also got the same one. Well, you better turn around right now. Uh, why would I do that? Oh, oh, what was that for? I thought you had the power to see people's crushes. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for... Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes, like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. 
I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey. I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? Three. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, Princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse words. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go. Climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to... What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right. A deal's a deal.
Uh, Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh, give me that back! No! My power! Oh, You did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. She only has 15 sips of oxygen? No wonder she was jealous of me. Oh no. <laughs> honey? We have a problem. No, no. Honey, wake up, please. Take my oxygen. Hang in there. I'm gonna use a different method. Please wake up. You feeling better? Yeah, but hey, wait. What happened to all of your oxygen? I transferred it to you, honey. You need it more than me. I'll... <laughs> I'll be okay. No. None of this would have happened if it weren't for Angela. Angela, stop it! Aw, you gonna cry. Hey, Angela. Whoa, thanks for knocking her out. Yeah, no problem. Now I gotta give you something. Here. That canister has infinite oxygen. So you'll never run out of air, cause I really appreciate you helping me out. Thank you so much. Hey kid, want some candy? Yes! Okay, just follow me over here and I'll give you some. Ow, you're hurting my ears! Ah, oh, come on, don't be afraid, follow me. <gasps> Get away from her! We're leaving! I told you not to talk to strangers. I'm sorry. Where's your headphones? I lost them. You what? I just bought you those. Remember, whispering is deadly. Getting ready for school? Yep. If you hear any whispering at all... I know, I know. Put on my headphones. Mom, I got this. So, prom's coming up. Yeah. I was just wondering if you... Would want to come with me to prom. That's not funny. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Excuse me. Brienne? Hello? I'm so sorry, Miss Sanders. See me after class. I'm confiscating your headphones. Oh, but my mom said... Zip! Hand them over, you'll get them back later. I want to show you a video before you go. Hi, you're watching ASMR. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. How many did you get? <gasps> Five thousand! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay?
Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey. I, I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's going to cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. <laughs> I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... Before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. Pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. Mommy, what's above my head? That's your Christmas wish, honey. You can wish for whatever you like. I want to wish for a boy. <gasps> you are not getting a boyfriend. You're way too young, honey. But Sissy wished for a boyfriend. No, I didn't. Lacey, I told you not to do that. Ugh, you little tattletale. You got me in trouble. I'm sorry. No, just for that, I'm not sharing the money Grandma gave us. Hey! Haha, <laughs> you can't reach it. Aw, poor baby. It's not fair. I wish that I was a big girl, older than Sissy, so I could boss her around. Oh, <sighs> wow, that felt like a long nap. Why does my voice sound different? What the... I have pierced ears? <gasps> I have a big girl body. Well, good morning to you. You're looking nice. Come here. Ew, gross. Hey, what's the matter? I think my Christmas wish came true. Give me a kiss. Come on, I gotta go. Who are you, and where are my mom and sister? Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. 
All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack, and Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the Storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <gasps> Down, boy. Can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. It's about to happen. What's about to happen? The name of our crushes. It's going to be above our head. Please tell me that you're joking. No, I'm being serious. Why are you so nervous? Who's your... What am I going to do? I can't go to school with this. Yeah, you're on your own. Get back here. Hey, honey, are you okay? Actually, no, Mom, I can't go to school. <laughs> I'm sick. My poor baby, let's take your temp. Oh, no, Mom, that's okay. I Hush, we have to take it. Honey, you're fine. Hey, Bree, why are you wearing glasses and a hat? Hello? Just look above my head. You like Mr. Smith? I have him next, period. What am I going to do? Oh, boy. Uh... If you don't look him in the eyes, I don't think he could see his name. Good morning, class. Good morning, Bree. I like your hat. Uh, can you please look at me when I'm talking to you? Bree, I don't understand. You're always so friendly. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm going to go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm going to paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinner's... Let me see that. Do you get your soulmate sign yet? No, not yet. What's your zodiac sign again? I'm an Aquarius. Maybe your crush Sam is your soulmate. He's a Leo, and they're supposed to be good matches for Aquariuses. Please, just show up. Gemini. A Gemini. So, I guess my soulmate's not Sam. Did you get your crush's sign? No, I got a Gemini. <laughs> my brother's a Gemini. You don't think your brother and I might be... Soulmates? Ew, of course not. Don't even go there. <laughs> hey, Kate, what's that on your face? My soulmate's sign. When you meet your soulmate, their sign appears on your face.
my soulmate with Sam. <clears throat> um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm so happy for you too. My brothers got detention today. Excuse me, that top is against dress code. Apparently so do I. Tell Luke I said hi. <laughs> No talking. Gotta love detention, huh? Oh, hey, Luke. Hey, uh, you got something on your face. Morning. Honey, bad news. They're going to limit how much we can breathe, starting today. Wait, what? Start taking deep breaths. Okay, okay. <sighs> Mom, this is ridiculous. I have to go to school. All right, but keep taking the breaths. Okay, okay. They're about to give out the number. Yeah, I know. I'm getting kind of nervous. I hope I get a lot. It's happening. Your number of breaths will appear in 3, 2, 1. <gasps> you get a lot? How much did you get? Four? Just hold your breath as long as you can. Bro, she looks constipated. <laughs> she does. <sighs> Mouth breather. I am not. <gasps> what? What's wrong? How many do you have left? Only one. Hang on, I'm gonna go find someone to give you some. Me? No, I can't. My mom won't let me. Hey, you won't believe who's gonna give you... Please wake up. <gasps> you got gifted infinite breaths. <laughs> Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real... Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not going to happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you. This food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink? Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind. I switched her drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date. We were together for a little bit we should all go out sometime yeah we should boyfriend lost a little feelings hey babe do you maybe wanna hang out tonight oh sorry babe i already invited the boys over they'll be here in a little bit it's game night more feelings lost what is going on you know what forget it i don't care if it's boys night i have to go talk to him derek i <gasps> oh! holy shit is she wearing my... Um, we we can explain. You should have knocked. Ugh. Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Welcome to the game. Um, what does NPC mean? That stands for non-player character. Oh. You will now be placed in your proper location. Hands up, everyone. Hey, I was gonna rob this place. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, come on, guys. Please don't fight. Um, what are you doing? We're NPCs. We can't intervene. Right. Ugh. This is a robbery. Hands up. Sorry. This money's mine. Ugh. Ugh. Players are so violent. Ugh. Whoa, you just punched her glasses right off her face. <laughs> I'm gonna just give you these back. I don't think she's alive anymore. I really shouldn't do this, but, um... <laughs> Wait, what's that? New outfit unlocked. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? 
And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. How many words, honey? I got a hundred. Remember, you have to use them by midnight or you die. I got this. I know. I'll be fine. Ah, crap. I barely talked at all today at school. I still have 50 words left, and it's almost midnight. I have an idea. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top-down AC with the cooling system. <laughs> boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 super bass. All words used. How many words today, hun? Zero? Wow, you lucky girl. Have fun. You really got zero words to use up today? Well, girl, I got a lot of words I gotta use up, so you can just listen to me talk. So, they all thought my scar was fake. You're listening, right? Okay, good. So, then my boyfriend was like, I am so sorry to do this, hun. I just can't handle all these words. Why would you do that? There is three hours till midnight. I can't use up 10,000 words. There's something you need to know about me. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. <sighs> Carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. <laughs> At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling has collapsed! No! no. Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I have to go help them! Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. Let's eat hope. It's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college. But there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? <laughs> How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so... 
Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. <laughs> oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice- Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. <laughs> Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. White Queen, watch out. The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir, do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid, what? Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna... That's enough talking. We're sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations.
Nobody wants a 17 year old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi. Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you. <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's going to be okay. I'm going to visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise. I wish Mommy and Daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted. Susie. What does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seem so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. Hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we...